My name is Thomas Matthew Crooks. I hate Republicans. I hate Trump. And guess what? You got the wrong guy. Hello again, party people, and welcome back to the greatest true crime channel in the world. There was a fight to the right of the stage when the bullets rang out, and people in the crowd saw it, and some filmed it. The people in the center grandstand had the best view of this fight, and the center grandstand was the last grandstand to be let out of the rally, and probably because the cops wanted to know what footage the people had before they were released. But at least one center grandstand video was released, and I got it for you party people. And I'm going to show it to you too. First, everyone falsely claimed the woman sitting behind Trump was the FBI assistant director. I said this was false from day one, because that job position would require them to remain apolitical. They would not be allowed to wear a Trump hat and attend a Trump rally. This is why I never covered that obvious bullshit story that the fake crime channels covered. That woman attended Trump's rally with her husband. Now here is that woman leaving the rally with her husband. He was sitting beside her in the stand, and now he's got his hand on her back as they walk out together. Now here are some photos of the fight to the right of the stage as the first shots are fired. This was supposed to be a one-and-done shooting, but the guy missed Trump, and it appears he fired more shots before Slick rushes forward and pulls the guy back. The chances of this piss-poor shooter getting a promotion are now slim to none. The Secret Service still has to back up and cover up for the failed shooter because the Secret Service is likely behind the shooting. And who controls the Secret Service? The current Democrats do. Who hired the director of the Secret Service? The Democrats did. How the Donald could praise the Secret Service or trust any Secret Service member now, especially Slick, is beyond me. Was this female reporter the real target of the attack? Then the shot hit Trump and Corey? I don't know. But the reporter was taken to the ground and the Secret Service covered her body while Slick pulled the shooter back. Lots of people in the front row and in the center grandstand witnessed the fight to the right of the stage. While the Donald is already down on the stage, you can see lots of people looking and filming the right side of the stage where the fight is still going on. This guy is filming it, and I want to see his footage. This is the New York Times photographer who took the photo of the bullet by Trump's head. He rushes over to the fight and takes photos. I want to see those photos as well, don't you? And why were his photos of the fight not already released? He's already did several interviews, so why didn't he discuss the fight he witnessed? So here is how it went down, party people. It appears the shooter moved in and fired some shots. Slick rushed forward and pulled him back. The cop snipers thought the shots were coming from the building roof, so they killed the guy on the roof who had no rifle. The guy on the roof only had a rangefinder, so the cover-up began quick. Here you see Slick rush forward, and eventually he pulled the alleged shooter back to beside the grandstand. Here's the shooter. This person just tried to rush the stage, and no one is guarding him because they already know who he is. He's one of their own.
You can see that two of the Secret Service members on the ground also rush and grab the shooter before Slick pulls the shooter back. Now I originally thought this was a woman peeking around Trump's vehicle, but I now realize I am wrong. This is the shooter as Slick is dragging him back to the side of the grandstand. You can see that weird curved thing above the shooter's head. And you also see this curved thing when the shooter was in the fight beside the stage. I originally had no idea what that curved thing above the shooter's head was, but now I know what it is. It's a Vest Video Gimbal Support Rig Arm Stabilizer. And here is the shooter wearing it before Trump takes the stage. This cameraman with the gimbal arm is already inside the gated off area along with the other cameraman. Once Trump begins talking, the cameraman walks around the back of the grandstand and walks over to the side where Slick is. And he walked right past Slick. The area where Slick is just before the stage is also gated off and this cameraman tried to enter the gated area. Once Slick pulls the cameraman shooter back, the other Secret Service agents ripped down the striped gate. So with each passing day, we have one less clue to solve tomorrow party people. He's dead. I just seen his hair oh, blow up, they shot him in the head.